Ever since Moon Animator got monetized, animating has gotten a bit more confusing and can be a bit hard for a beginner. So today, I'll be teaching you how to make nice animations and anything, go to view, and make sure the explorer and properties tabs are open. You are now able to see and manage all the parts of your game. Now, go to the avatar section and click on rig builder. This menu should now pop up on your screen. You can choose either R6 or R15 for the rig type, but make sure you click on block avatar, or your rig might spawn in like this monstrosity. Now, let's get animating. If you click on Animation Editor in the Avatar section, this menu should pop up. Click on your rig to create a new animation. Name it whatever you'd like to. This will be where you'll animate. First, click on the plus sign and press Add All Body. This will add every part of the rig's body onto the editor. Now you can start creating your animation. You can click on a body part to move or rotate it. Editing the part's position or rotation will also create a keyframe. Think of the keyframes as transitions. The edited body parts will transition from one position to another as the animation plays. For this tutorial, I will be making a walking animation. This part might take some time depending on what you are making, but remember to be patient and keep on going. Now, before moving any further, make sure to save your animation every few minutes just in case anything happens that would cause the editor to close. Here is what my animation currently looks like. You'll notice that the animation is a bit bland and doesn't have any flair to it. To fix that, we will use easing styles and directions. If you right-click on any keyframe, you'll see a large number of options pop up on your screen. These two options are important to the animation making process. There are five simple easing styles to choose from. Pause the video if you'd like to read their descriptions. Here are also the three easing directions. Pause the video if you'd like to read them. Now, that might have been a bit confusing, so I recommend playing around with your options a little bit so that you may understand them more. Since there isn't a wide variety of options to choose from, you'll be able to find the right easing style and direction in no time. Also, keep in mind that if a keyframe has a certain easing style and direction, the whole transition after that will have the same easing style and direction until it successfully transitions to the next keyframe. After changing all of my keyframes to cubic and in out, this is what my animation looks like. The animation looks pretty good, so I think we're done with that. If your animation is for something that will constantly repeat, make sure to press this button to make your animation looped. I am making a walking animation, so in this case, we will need looping to be turned on. Lastly, we will need to set our animation priority. If you click the three dots, you will see an option that says set animation priority. There are four levels of animation priorities. Core, idle, movement, and action. They are ranked in this order, from the highest priority to the lowest. To give you an example, let's say I wanted to make my rig use this walking animation and a tool holding animation at the same time. If my walking animation is set to movement and my tool holding animation is set to action, the rig's arms would be in a fixed position instead of flailing around as if it was walking since the tool holding animation overrides the walking animation. Once you are done with your animation, you will now have to upload it to Roblox. Click on these three dots and then click on publish to Roblox. You should see this new window pop up on your screen. Rename your animation to whatever you want and give your animation a description. The description part is optional though. Once you're done, submit and you'll be all set. By the way, when it's done loading for you, copy the ID that it gives you on your screen. This is your animation ID. Now, let's get scripting. Insert a script into your rig. And in that script, insert an animation. Now, you will need to type this into the script. It's nothing complicated, so it's pretty easy for you to understand it once you get the hang of it. These two lines are your variables, more specifically the rig's humanoid and the animation itself. Then, this line here will make the animation looped. 
Lastly, this line will play the animation. If we test the game, you'll see that the rig successfully plays our walking animation in a continuous loop. But wait, what if you wanted to make an animation for a tool? Well we can do that too. First make your tool. Make sure you do the necessary steps such as adding the handle and welding the tool. If you need any help with that, you can check out a video I made in the description. Now, place your tool in replicated storage. Now, go back to Animation Editor. Click on the three dots and press Create New. Once you've named your animation, add your rig's full body. You're now ready to animate. The process is similar to what we did before, the only difference is that there's only one frame. Once you're done, loop your animation, and make sure that the animation priority is set as action. This part is very important as it makes this holding animation play above all the other animations. And as always, you'll want to click Publish to Roblox, give your animation a title, and publish it to Roblox. Make sure to once again copy your animation ID. Now, you'll want to insert a script into your rig. Then, insert an animation into that script. Make sure to paste the ID into the animation. Lastly, we will type this very simple script. This one is similar to the one we typed before, but there are a few changes. We have the same variables and functions for playing the animation, but we also made it so that the rig equips the tool that we made. If we test the game, we'll see that the rig plays the animation while holding the sword out in its hand. Our holding animation also overrides our walking animation since it has a higher priority.